All right, so we're continuing in Matthew chapter 12. It says that one possessed by a demon, blind and mute, was brought to him, to Jesus, and he healed him. So the blind and mute man both spoke and saw. So he's possessed by a demon, and that's what made him have these disabilities. And so I wrote my commentary that evil delights in disabilities, or we could say that demons delight in disabilities. Um, so the question is, do you delight in that? You know, do you want someone to fail at life? That's demonic. If you want people to fail, or you delight in them messing up, or, or you delight in bad things happening to them, that's wrong, right? That's demonic. That's why it's so important for Christians to pray for their enemies and uh, to forgive people that hurt them. And then, and I think it's related to, to this next part where, you know, you've heard this, that, you know, the Pharisees were saying that he drove out demons um, by the power of Satan. And, and Jesus says, you know, um, a house divided against itself will not stand. And so I just put that there's a clear emphasis in the Bible on unity. And so, and you know, there's a, there's a psalm, I forget which one it was, but it talked about um, where there is unity, that's where God commands the blessing. Talks about oil going down um, on air and his beard, but um, but let's put these two together. That that there is a clear emphasis on unity in the Bible among Christians, especially, and that it is demonic to want other people to fail. So here's what I want you to think about: there there is always drama in church, you know, because we're all human and people mess up. And so here's what you need to do: is you need to control your thoughts and you need to let the love of God flow out of you. And you need to pray for the people that you might be very upset at, that you think made wrong decisions. Um, you know, a lot of times it's against the pastor. And so you just need to realize that, that God loves unity and that it's demonic to want people to fail or, or to experience disabilities. You want your pastor, you want the other Christians that you know, um, and even non-Christians who may have hurt you, you want them to be able to see spiritually and, and because that's what this guy's disability was. He was blind and mute. You want people to be, to have spiritual sight and to be able to speak good spiritual things. So, so pray for those around you. Pray for those who hurt you. Pray for those in leadership. And let's not turn on each other and devour each other because that's demonic. Let's be more concerned about unity as long as we're unified in truth. You know, if people are doing things wrong, it's okay to point out. You're supposed to point out what's wrong but you're not violating anything because you're trying to help them and not hurt them.